In this video, we're going to modify our mass and run an analysis again so we can compare the two different masses. So we'll come back over to our energy settings tab and let's make our percentage of glazing a little lower. I'm going to go with a pretty high number so we can see the differences, uh, or I'd say a low number to be correct here. We'll say 20% glazing. And let's change some of our conceptual construction. Let's say mass exterior wall is high insulation. Now interior walls are not going to affect our changes that much. And we'll change our roof to a high insulation cool roof. And our mass floors, we'll leave all that as is. And our mass glazing, let's go ahead and change that to a low climate. And we have a skylight at the top, which we'll make the same. And we don't have shades, and we'll leave the openings as air. All right, so we'll leave that like it is, and we'll click OK. And everything else we can kind of leave alone. We don't really have to change that much. And now when we click OK, it's going to run through and make those changes to our mass. So now you can see that the cuts for our glazing are smaller. And if I wanted to change the sill height, um, I could do that, and that would raise my windows if I did it right here. If I changed my sill height, let's say it's, um, this is in meters, so if a uh, full meter up, just for demonstration purposes, we'll click OK, and it's going to run through that. You see that all our windows went up. Now that we've looked at all the different ways we can change the settings within the Analyze tab, uh, let's look at some of the other things that we can modify. I'll zoom out here and look at our mass. And if we come over to the Massing and Sight tab and change some of our visibility settings, here where it says Show Mass, we've got four different ways we can see our mass. Some of these view settings are very specific to energy modeling. So let's turn this one on, which is Show Mass Surface Types. Now our mass is showing all the different surface types. And what that means is if I hover over and tab above one of the window openings, you'll notice I can select a whole face of the building. And what this allows me to do is change the materials by face. This way, if, say, this side of the building has a slightly different material or a glass with a different rating because it's more exposed or it's not hidden by a building, I can do that. So I'll select it and come over to my properties. Then here where it says energy model conceptual construction, I can change it for this particular side of the building. And I'll click apply, and that sets it. So that's a really nice way to be able to get more granular control of our mass before we run it. You're also able to uh, edit your mass and sketch in uh, different profiles. Some of these things are covered on some of the other videos on Autodesk's website, and they don't really apply to the design of this building. So we're not going to cover them, but that flexibility is there. All right, so that pretty much sets the settings for this mass and some of the things that I want to do. In the next video, we'll look at analyzing a couple different masses and comparing the results.